Okay, so this isn't a fursuit video because um, my cat died, which has been really hard, obviously. Uh, we put him down on June 1st at around 3 a.m. because he was going through heart failure. And um, I'd been thinking about getting a tattoo for a while for at least the past four or five months and I was debating on what I wanted to get. I was gonna get like a life strange thing. Then I changed my idea to a wolf um, because one of my personas is a wolf. But uh, when I was just sitting in the vet and I was holding my cat, uh, I decided to get him as my portrait on my arm because he meant a lot to me. I had him for 10 years. And, um, uh, you can tell it's really, really hard for me to speak about it. Um, so I'm going to be getting my tattoo in five hours. I booked my appointment on Saturday, uh, a few hours after I had cried myself to sleep, woke up, and went down to the parlor and we booked the appointment for today. And uh, I gave him some reference pictures of my cat, and I basically left up the entire design to him because I didn't know what I wanted. So, um, I'm gonna see if my mom can <laughs> film some of it, a uh, part of my experience. This is my first tattoo. I am using numbing gel. This stuff, it's the highest amount percent of lidocaine you can possibly buy without a prescription. I slathered my arm up with one layer. I'm about to put on another four. I have really low pain tolerance. Um, but yeah, so hopefully this goes well. I thought it'd be a good idea to document a first tattoo thing for other people who may not have a tattoo and may want one. Cause I know I do want one. I'm just really nervous about it his pain <laughs> but I definitely know I want this and I'm never going to regret it because it's my cat so yeah um what else did I want to say about it um but yeah so I have a really low pain tolerance but everyone says the, like the inner arm is one of the least painful places, perhaps? Um, not the upper inner arm, the lower inner arm. Below your elbow is apparently one of the least painful places to get a tattoo. I don't know. But you guys know, I broke my wrist recently. <laughs> broke and dislocated my wrist. And I'm literally sitting there on the stretcher, waiting for them to take me to my x-rays. I'm sitting there joking with my EMTs about KatsuCon because I was going to miss KatsuCon. And I had literally five nurses come up to me and be like, you're not screaming. Why are you not screaming because of this? And uh, I, I was just like, yeah, what? It, it hurts, but it's not that bad. And um, I literally went two days unmedicated before surgery and then an entire week unmedicated post-op. Uh, <laughs> So, after that, I feel like a tattoo isn't going to be that bad. <laughs> so, yeah. And the medication they prescribed me was narcotics. And I was unmedicated from narcotics with the pain of my wrist. So, a tattoo can't be worse than that, honestly. So, um, I guess I'll update later. <laughs> also, another note, um, this could kind of be a review on this numbing gel because okay I've got it all wrapped up I've put on three layers very thick wrapping it in saran wrap like they're telling me to I'm gonna keep it on from now until I have to take it off um so it's 12 30 now and my appointment is at five and it's just gonna sit there that whole time I tested it the other day um the other night and I put it on and I fell asleep with it on for like four hours and so when I woke up my arm actually was numb hoping that's not a problem because if you can see there's a, a red scratch there 
I uh, scraped a pin on my arm. Yeah, the numbing gel works. I didn't know I broke the skin. So I hope they can work around that. If they can't, I guess I'll have to reschedule. But yeah. Okay, I guess that's it for now, really. Okay, update. It's an hour and a half before my appointment, and I put on another layer of numbing gel, rewrapped it. I put on my acupressure bands because uh, apparently it helps with nausea or whatever, and I'm about to take a Tylenol because you do not want to take aspirin or NSAIDs like Aleve or anything before a tattoo because they're blood thinners. But Tylenol is not. You can take Tylenol before surgery, and uh, I'm doing everything I possibly can to be in as least pain as I possibly can. I gave my arm a little pinch, and yeah, it's pretty numb. I just wanted to put on another layer, just in case. Also to make it numb a little bit longer, since it's been on for quite a few hours at this point. You can probably tell I'm getting really nervous. <laughs> I'm gonna try and get my mom to film some in the shop if Corey lets me. Uh, I don't know what their stand is on filming in their shop or not. So yeah, I'll, I'll try and get like my first little bit on camera. Well, not the whole thing, it's gonna take two and a half hours to do. He already told me, so. Uh, I'm buckled in, I'm gonna bring my iPad with a movie on it, I'm gonna watch Coraline, <laughs> and uh, then make it through the last next hour after Coraline ends. Uh, I brought some episodes of Voltron too, so we'll see. I may not be watching anything if I'm screaming, so yeah. I'll probably update again in the car. <laughs> I really don't care what people say about my tattooing cosplay. That's really you, uh, cute. Do anime characters or? Uh, mostly from games and stuff. Oh, okay. What are you playing? Um, I cosplay from Life is Strange. I cosplay Voltron. Um, That's cool. Right now, I'm getting ready to work on my full Paladin armor for Pitch from Voltron. Because I have a group going to Budokan. I did River from Doctor Who. <laughs> Not so many people know Doctor on. Who. Life is Strange too, so I wasn't ready for how that started. So I like I got probably through that first sequence where the dad dies. Yeah. And I was like, yo, what the fuck, dude? Like, shit. ooh, the one after that is bad. But then I, uh, I think I'm in the forest and the one brother's mm -hmm. complaining about food and I turned it off. So Episode three isn't it. as good. It's awful. It's really boring. <laughs> it's awful. I kept falling asleep during it. You played Life is Strange 1 with Max I, I played Chloe. a lot of it. I didn't finish it, but... You should finish I was, Life I was Strange about 1. to try to finish, then I was like, man, I mean, uh, I just want to go and play this next one real quick and try it out. Sorry, yeah. Yeah. But I'll probably get back to it, but... I mean, I could probably so talk your ear off about um, Life is Strange 1. Because <laughs> uh, I got the first one. Oh, you didn't tell him about the scratches first. The girl oh, yeah, jumped off fine. the roof. Yeah, they're not yeah. gonna really matter. She did um, a trial yeah, scratch I test. I tested my numbing gel the other night, and I may have stuck a pin in me a little too far, and <laughs> <laughs> that happened. <laughs> um, yeah, it should, it should work. Okay. Um, what do you think about sunlight afterwards? Because I can tell my friends I'm not gonna go if it's gonna mess up the tattoo. I mean, you could get sunlight, but just not too much. You know, okay, you don't want to have. Suppose it's gonna be cloudy. I'm just gonna go to Capital Pride on Sunday. Uh -huh. Um, I just don't want it to hurt the tattoo while it's still healing. Well, this should be fine. Or if worse going to worse, put like a blue sleeve on it. You know. Okay. Yeah. Right, I'm ready. So I'm starting. You're ready. Do a small amount so you can see what it feels like. Okay. And then, I'm filming. Be, nothing. be brave for the camera. I numb over here, so that's the part I'm worried about. I mean, there's going to be some pain, but it's not unbearable, I don't okay. think. So, like I said, I'm going to do this, and then you can, you know. <laughs> oh, I'm nervous. <laughs> it sounds like someone getting a haircut. Yeah, no <laughs> if I get nauseous or dizzy, it's because of my anxiety. I have really bad panic attacks. It's harder to get on some medication. <laughs> How long do you want me to film? Just my initial reaction. 
That's what I thought yeah. when we were parasailing. Okay, sure now going back. Alright, there we go. It's slipper socks. You started? Yes. Oh, I don't feel it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't feel it till that numbing gel wears off. Okay, that's Is it easier than a shot? Yeah, okay, calming down. <laughs> no nausea. I really think it's from the numbing gel that I can't feel it though. That's good. She wrapped it up for how long? <laughs> yeah. a long five hours. Five I years. Had... <laughs> if I sound like I'm yelling, I hide my sound up really loud. Um, oh, you have it on? Yeah. I didn't even know you were playing Coraline. I feel like my arm is jumping though. It is because of vibration. No, like my muscles are jumping. Maybe they're dancing. I don't know. Um, I had the numbing <laughs> gel on from 12.30, and then I took it off like an hour ago. You don't actually feel anything? Not really, no. Well, cool. I always wanted to get a rose, but I'm so old, my skin's getting wrinkly. I'm afraid <laughs> it'll look like the rose dying on Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> It'll be Wilton. Now I'm kind of just trying to settle into the adrenaline and stuff. <laughs> you can calm down now if it doesn't hurt. I know that my muscles are still going to feel tense for a while though because I'm coming off that anxiety high. Oh yeah. You might go in and out of it. Yeah. Like you'll be calm and you'll be like thinking, calm. oh my god, maybe it's going to hurt in a minute or something. <laughs> yeah. Because that's what panic like, attacks I can do. Feel it. it kind of feels like a little bit of a pinch in some places. But that's it? Yeah, because of the numbing gel. Oh, that's cool. I expected yeah. you to be like a screaming and a yelling. When you started, I was just like, wait, did you start? I know, you didn't even know what you started. Oh, I felt that one. What did it feel like? Like a pinch. Tell it to the camera. Yeah, it's like a pinch when you can feel it right now. The numbing gel is working a lot. Stop filming now if you'd like. I just find it interesting. I thought I was gonna feel weird when you were getting it, but I'm calm. I'm still shaky because I'm coming off the anxiety. I'm calm because it's not my arm. <laughs> You're watching Coraline. Do you wanna say anything, friend? I'm probably going to scream in like an hour. Well, then I'll film again so we can capture that. Did you send them Tattoo's on? done. Uh, I just pressed play. Um, tattoo's done. <laughs> it took just under two hours. And I freaked out right before it. But it did not hurt as much as I thought. The numbing gel helped a lot. But when that um, did eventually wear off. Oh boy. That, that, was, that was a pain, painful time. But it wasn't like unbearable. If you focus on the vibration of the tattoo machine, then you don't feel the pain as bad. So um, for people who are worried about getting their first tattoo, who may think that they have low pain tolerance, do it because it's not as bad as you think. Uh, I would say do it if you really want the tattoo because I'm very happy with mine. And what do you guys say? She was very brave. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've never expected her to be brave like that. Lord. Yeah, uh, I would say eat sugar before you go and protein. Not right before you go, but um, do eat sugar and protein before you go because I got starving halfway through the shading and now I'm shoving a cookie in my mouth. So probably is the adrenaline pumping. It is. I could feel I could feel the waves of adrenaline coming back. Like it would go away, and then it would like come back and my body would start shaking again. Oh, we can park So uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, I'll put in pictures after this of it, and I am so super happy with my tattoo, and 
I'll film my mom if she gets one. <laughs> my mom's thinking about getting a tattoo. And I always wanted one, but I'm too chicken. They say when you get a tattoo, you want more. It's true. Even through all the pain, I'm going to be getting more. I've got Ooh. two more ideas planned, possibly Ooh. three. Ooh, we so... gotta park this place right close. <laughs> yeah, I gotta go, because I'm gonna go shove cookie in my mouth and some soda. Cookie monster. Point of the story is, is get the tattoo if you want it. <laughs>